So it's your boy Downsize and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. So today on my live, on my live stream while I was while I was out at North Mountain, uh the homie Jimmy Jam asked me about about Kunta and them. And I was telling them how I had to fight all of them one time, um, at one time. So I wanna I wanna share with that I wanna share with you that story. There's a moral to the story. There's a value to the story, but I want to share with you the story. So, okay, Kunta, Tapo, and all of them, they all rode the little bus to Fate North. And the little bus used to pick them up right in front of our apartment, pretty much. And the homie Joe Zapata, G. Joe Zapata, his sister used to ride the little yellow bus with them, right? Now, they started bullying her and picking on her real heavy, real tough. And, and my mom had been telling them, you know what I mean? And my mom told them, I'm going to have tell my son, I'm going to have my son, you know what I'm saying? Beat you guys up. And so, and so, you know, it's like I was saying, man, my mom used to make us fight. And so, anyway, one day at the school, it was, you know, they got on the bus talking crap, whatever, you know what I mean? So, okay, we get back after school. You know what I mean? I went to Edison, but they went to Fenton. Anyway, after school, um, it goes down. It's, it's, it's like five of them. And, and um, they're trying to jump me, but they can't. You know what I'm saying? None of them can get behind me. You know what I'm saying? And any of them that gets close to me is getting hands put on them. Quick. Bing, 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 bing. You know what I'm saying? Any of them that gets close to me. And I'm, I'm fucking, you know, I'm, I'm chasing after them and shit. And I end up going inside because it, it was something my mom had told us a long time ago as kids, man. You can't beat them, cheat them. Ain't hey, nothing says you can't get no fucking stick, no knives, no none of that shit. Inside, like, I, I, I was pretty typical to go grab a knife. And um, end up chasing them away, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, the moral of the story is that the homie Joe's sister, she couldn't defend herself. She couldn't protect herself from those bullies. And as, as, as much as no kid wants to fight, you know what I mean? Especially not have to fight a bunch of kids. Um... I had to defend the honor of the homie sister. I had to, I had to, I had to fight for her. I had to fight all these kids off, dude. And, um, you know, the reason I bring this up is because this is, this is, this is who I am. This is Daniel Eugene's size. I'm not, I'm not the baddest. I'm not even trying, I'm not even claiming to be bad. What people are not understanding about what they're hearing and seeing from me is my irritations, my frustrations, you know what I'm saying, um, with, with, with the whole lot of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really have gotten really fed up with these bullies. That's all these people are online are freaking bullies. All of these ex-gang members, especially if they've been to prison, all of them, they are demonstrating here online on the YouTube streets, the YouTube yada, that they're nothing more than bullies, dude. And the people that they attract to their channel are likewise the same because they attract people to their channel. They sit there and swing on their nuts that are, that are fan favorites and whatnot and then turn around and go and using their names to go fuck with other people online about this stupid shit. This channel is Daniel Size's rolls, grows and stones, as is evident. There's no hypocrisy to what you see here. You see Daniel Size's rolls growing in stones, in spite of. So what you're able to nitpick apart about my life and try to make yourself feel good about, because that's all people love to do. You know, you get people that will sit here and want to make fun of my teeth because there's nothing else. 
They're going through such extremes right now. And why? To save face. They're sitting there bullying people online. And for what? What is it accomplishing for, for these trolls to do that for those channels? And for those channels to actually troll because I have caught those channels trolling. By their very actions, by the very words that have come out of their mouths, I have caught them doing that. It's been evident. Everybody sees it. Dude, let it go. And this is what I tell myself. Dude, let it go. Because it's not even worth the engagement when I know that these dudes are snowflakes. These, listen, dude. When people will act the way they act online over a brand that don't belong to them, that's going to betray them, and that has betrayed them. And when these people who've experienced this, they hold to it, and this is their reputation online, because this is what their channels are about, you're going to attract those type of people who are interested in those type of stories, creeps. And I'm gonna end with this. I ain't afraid of dying. It's one thing I'm not. I wanna see what's after this. I'm exhausted in this world. I'm fed up, I'm tired. I gotta deal with People like this, grown men my age, they cannot let go of the past. They cannot even stop using childish nicknames that they used gang mon. They were they were gang monikers. They can't stop using gang monikers, but they want to turn around and act like they're men. Start showing it now. Start leading by example, man. Why don't you people change the channel now? This is Daniel Size's Rose, Grows, and Stones. There's no reason for anyone from those channels to come over here. And the only reason there's videos up now in reference to is because of what's been happening. When I took all of those videos down for that reason, I didn't want to deal with these sensitive little creeps no more. They're sensitive to me. They're snowflakes. Don't you understand that? People live in fear. It grips them. They can't even get out of these of, of these vicious cycles. They sit here and they perpetuate the same fear. It's crazy to me to, to listen to grown men, 40s, 50s, 60s, whatever. They sit there and perpetuate the same fears online. Ooh, 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 ooh. Listen. I live every day, I, f I live every day like it's my last. I live it to its fullest. At any given moment, I can take my last breath. It can come, it can come from a fucking bullet. It can come from a fucking knife. It can come from life itself. But one thing is for certain, it will be divine. And when it's my time, it will be divine. So I don't live in fear here in, on earth because there's no shame in dying. The shame is in living. The shameful are those people who are living. There's no shame in being dead. They're dead. For the most part, they're forgotten. I don't have no problem with that. I don't. But see, there's those that this, these impressions means the most to them. How they're viewed online means the world to them. Their personas online is, is, is what defines them apart from it. They're YouTubers now. Peace, Mel.